Whoa, look at this. <laughs> oh my god, that's unbelievable. So this is what happens when you don't straighten your bridge regularly. Isn't that crazy? And, you know, like, it's actually so easy just to straighten your bridge. It's a really quick thing. So I'm going to show you how to straighten your cello bridge today. But first, I'm going to have to make a new bridge for this cello. It is, like, <laughs> it's so bent. Oh, my God, that is crazy. So first of all, I just got to take off the strings so I can fit a new bridge. Look at that. That is one crazy bent bridge. Next, I'm actually going to fit the bridge and when it's all finished, uh, I'll put it back on and I'll show you how to straighten it. Okay, so I've fitted the bridge now and it fits beautifully. And now I am just going to mark mark in the bridge height, I want the string height. The original bridge was actually way too high on the C string anyway. There we go, just marked it in. Okay, now I'm just going to use a bridge template, which is this, to mark in the correct curvature. That's very important, I want to get the wrong curvature on a the bridge. There we go. And I'm just going to saw the top off and then uh, thickness the bridge and carve it. So I've cut the top off, I'm just thicknessing it. I put a very slight curvature on the bridge because it actually strengthens it and stops it from bending. If you look carefully, it's actually a very slight curvature uh, over the whole front of the bridge just to stop it from bending. So it just strengthens it that little bit, but also it's good for the sound. All right, just gonna carve the shape. Okay. Very close to finishing carving this uh, bridge. See, I pull my shoulders up when I'm working. Haha. <laughs> it's a bit that. That's uh, where I can find out my posture problems while I'm filming YouTube videos. I'm very close to finishing carving this uh, bridge. I have to do the string divisions. Very important to have this string spacing right. And then uh, I use this divider to, to get the string spacing really even. Wander across and they're totally even. Got it first go, which uh, doesn't always happen. So that's the uh, string grooves. Okay, so I've got to bring my bridge over here to sand, so here we go. So I go through all the different grades of sandpaper really fast. Well, not that fast, I've got to make sure that I'm finished with each grade of sandpaper before going on to the next. So that was the last one, so it's all sanded. And now I've just got to put some oil on and uh, put my stamp on and the bridge will be ready to put on. Okay, now just the stamp. There we go, made by me. Now that's all done and ready to put on the instrument. Oh, one little thing. I've got to put some graphite in the string grooves. I'm going to use my huge pencil, graphite in the string grooves. Okay, so I've stamped the bridge, I've put uh, put graphite in the grooves. It's time to put it on the cello. This is so much straighter. <laughs> much better. And I will show you how to straighten a cello bridge. I'll show you the easiest way of straightening a cello bridge. It's super easy. So all you do is you put your uh, 
the cello on the lap. You press your thumbs together either side of the bridge. You uh, you just grab around the strings and you push. Oh, these strings are a bit loose, so it's super easy. Uh, and then you push the bridge across. Okay, so yeah, the back of the bridge should just be at right angles to the base of the top plate. So say this is the base of the top plate. You put something on there and this, the bridge should be approximately at a right angle from that. Okay, so the way to do it is you put it on this side and you check and oh, it's got a little bit of a lean forward still. So take it back slightly and it's now perfect. So anyway, keeping the bridge straight on your instrument is super important because if you keep your bridge straight, it'll last so much longer. A good bridge can last between 15 and 30 years, which is just amazing if it's kept straight. Fantastic. Anyway, hope this helps. Uh, remember to like and subscribe and also hit the little bell after you subscribe because that way you find out every time I post a new video. All right, keep making beautiful music. See you guys later. Bye.